Hey YouTube, it's Sham8890 here, Weight Loss Journey Week 87. And I bet you can tell I had a good win because of my smiling face. God, don't ever see that again. Yeah, sorry for the nightmares, I know I don't look the best, but... Anyway, last time I saw you, I weighed in the 229 after another weight gain. But, as I said, if I'm going to have a really bad weekend, I'll, weigh in, I'll just weigh in, the, weigh in the next Friday. And I did, and now I'm down to 27, which is another, which is a two-pound loss, so I am feeling great about that. So, hopefully next, like, uh, next weigh-in will be, will yield the same results. I had, uh, like, I overeat a lot at Easter, so I'm hoping this Friday I'll have another good weigh-in. Anyway, that's it for that. But now I want to talk to you about a certain subject that a lot of people are familiar with, and that is indulging at night. A lot of people indulge at night more than any other time of day. And my theory on that, this is not clinically proven, but it's a theory that everyone has a certain amount of, will amount of willpower in them, and as they go out the day, they use that willpower. And by the time night falls, that willpower is all gone because they've used it all up. So you go through a normal day, a person, like an asshole, cuts you off at work. No, an asshole cuts you off in traffic on the way to work. You know, you're at the grocery store. You have a billion items, and the woman in front of you would say, Oh, I know, I got a coupon here somewhere. That, yeah, that's a pain in the ass. Or sometimes, on my way to work, like I stop at a convenience, stop at a convenience store for a bottle of water, and the guy ahead of me is buying 50 freaking lottery tickets. I hate that so much you know i'll have five of these one of those two of that right there but make sure these are these numbers not those numbers yada 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 they are just a they're a pain in the ass to deal with they're more they're more likely to spend more money playing the lottery than they'll actually win in the lottery it just i mean it astounds me i want to go up to them and say excuse me do you have kids if they say yes, I would say, what do you feed them, losing lottery tickets? I mean, come on. Then there's also the willpower to use at work. Basically, your boss is an asshole. One of your uh, co-workers is really annoying. You really want to punch him in the face, but you know you can't because you'll get in trouble. Not punching him in the face, that takes willpower. And by the time you get home, after a really long day of work, and not punching people in the face, and like screaming at people, you see a box, of you open your cabinet, and you see a bag of cookies. If you had any willpower left, they wouldn't be a problem. But, yeah, because you don't have, they're there, and you use all your willpower for the day, they're going to be gone by tomorrow. <laughs> and that's just my, that's just my opinion on it, though. There could be another reason, I'm not sure, I'm not a, a doctor, I don't have a degree in this kind of stuff, but that is just my opinion, and, uh, I think it works. Like, I think uh, my theory is correct. Anyway, sorry for the rant, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.